Hello, Jennifer Toti here, and I am not at my house. I am at my mom's house right now. I am keeping an eye on her birds. I guess one of them escaped from her um, aviary, and she has left, and so I'm just keeping an eye out for them. So that's what I'm doing at my mom's house. And you see, me and my mom have different styles of, yeah. She's more of a nature kind of person, you know? I'm more of a horror movie person around. But hey, I just noticed. I've got the, the Gary Oldman hair from that Dracula, that 90s Dracula. Well, I'm going to have to look into how I did that. I was just sitting on this chair, putting my hair back. And I did it. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just sit here and watch this all day, but no, I won't. I'm going to do an 80s archive movie because it is Thursday. You know what I'm doing for? Hobbs Horror. And I picked another 1987 movie. Good year, good year. <laughs> I picked Jumpin' Jack Flash. Yes, with Whoopi Goldberg. Or sometimes I'd like, I call it, I say, Brian, get me the Whoopi Goldberg movie with Bobcat Goldthwait not in it. <laughs> and he'll know where to go because they're right next to each other in the shelf. So he knows when to get Burglar and when to get Jumpin' Jack Flash. Because apart from Revenge of the Nerds, other movies. That's usually what I'm watching when I'm not feeling good. <laughs> but this has a great soundtrack. It has a great um, cast. Jim Belushi it makes a make, uh, is in it. Um, John Lovitz, one of my favorite Saturday Night Live people, is in it. Yes. Uh, of course, Whoopi is in it. And you get to hear all through the movie Jonathan Price's voice. But at the end, you get to see that handsome Englishman, Jonathan Price, whose code name is. Jumping Jack Flash. Well, that doesn't show up good there, does it? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yes. And, um, I like this movie because I'm usually not a whoopee, a lover of the whoopee movies, you know? The color purple, I'll start crying. Um, uh, well, of course, I like her in Burglar, you know, but in this one, she's a fun lady. She's a kind of odd lady. She dresses kind of silly, and I love it. <laughs> Imagine me liking that. I'm sitting here wearing my son's tank top with my bra strap sticking out the side. <laughs> I don't dress weird. <laughs> but I think it's great. Based in New York and it's just got her um she a spy called Jumpin' Jack Flash gets a hold of her on her bank computer because he can't get a hold of any of the people at the English consulate, he's, he's a spy, and he's stuck in Russia, and she's the only one that can help him do that, and Dawn, she tries, and
I shouldn't be watching sh Shazam when I'm watching this. When I'm doing this. Okay. Um. And she ends up helping him. And I think she does the greatest thing in the world at the kind of at the at the end, you know, that exciting part at the end before the love scene at the end. Yes, there is love at the end. And usually when that happens in an eighties movie I'm like, ah oh, ah oh. <laughs> Okay, yes. She is trying to get her to her computer to tell Jumping Jack Flash that the person he's going to meet is is going to kill him. And people come up and try to shoot her while she's at her computer and try to make her press that he'll be okay if he leaves. But no, that's not true. That's not going to happen. So the guy has her hands like this. He's holding her hands like this. And she's got, she's on her knees. So what does she do? She goes <laughs> and holds on to something with her teeth. So she can put in the computer not for for him not to meet that person. <laughs> yes, Whoopi, you have balls in that scene. <laughs> but if you have never seen this movie, this is a good movie. And you know, it's directed by Penny Marshall. She does good movies, man. And um I love that John Lovitz is in it. Jim Belushi makes makes a little peek in this movie too. As the bad guy, which he does a good bad guy, Jim Belushi does. And John Lovitz, he's just a great good character in this movie. Yeah, so I'm saying it's a good movie for 80s archives. So, mmm. <laughs> So thank you and goodbye. Oh, I am sorry for me being in a rocking chair this whole time and rocking back and forth. Goodbye again. <laughs>